Um, so I mentioned last stream that Tomlinson was not being permitted into a convention at the request of the star guest there, um, which, which apparently I was wrong. Apparently the star guest is this woman, Leslie Ivarney, uh, who apparently had a bad experience with Tomlinson in the past and requested that he not be permitted to attend this convention to avoid complications, um, which apparently seemed to follow Patrick wherever he goes. So she writes here to say, I'm writing to clarify, or I'm writing to see if there will be clarification on the situation with author Patrick Tomlinson. I'm sure you're familiar with many of the antics that surround Mr. Tomlinson, and perhaps with the understanding that he is without blame for his situation, but I want to assure you that this isn't the complete picture. Um, oh, this is what she wrote to PenguinCon. Um, I assume that this is Penguin. Penguin's a, a book publisher, right? So I'm assuming that's for them. And this is what she wrote to them to clear the air about what she said to get Patrick removed from the uh, convention. She continues and says, I encountered Mr. Tomlinson first last June when he and another author took offense that I didn't immediately believe their account of harassment, and I communicated with their supposed terrorist stalkers. These are just two examples of the hyperbolized language that they use. For me, they use words like wicked, moron, mouth breather, evil, and imbecile. Since that time, Mr. Tomlinson and his associates have attacked me mercilessly on social media, up to and including a death threat from one of his associates, much to the express entertainment of Mr. Tomlinson. During this drama, I received messages from other people who have faced the same treatment, and it didn't take a genius to notice they were all women. In fact, I had originally called Mr. Tomlinson and his fellow author out on the misogyny and homophobia they expressed openly or supported quietly, especially in light of their accusing faceless attackers of being racist and homophobes. Anyway, this is all long-winded, a long-winded request to know if I can look forward to attending PenguinCon in the future, knowing he won't be attending. I've been considering if or how to bring this up uh, this subject up to the Worldcon 2025 committee, since I know he plans to attend, and I'd appreciate knowing if I can point to your decision as a precedent. Thanks in advance for any help you can provide, Leslie. That is fucking beautiful. That is, I especially love that ending. I would like to know if I could point to your decision as a precedent. This is exactly how pla the platforming works. This is exactly how, um, like Liz Fong Jones deplatforms the Kiwi Farms. If big companies like Cloudflare decide the Kiwi Farms is an imminent threat to human life, then all you have to do to justify your whining is to point to that and say, look, they did their due diligence and they found this. Therefore, they must be right and you should ease yourself of this burden and do the same immediately. So Patrick is finding out um, that this swings, that this knife cuts both ways, as it turns out. And um, when he gets banned from PenguinCon, which he already has been, he'll find that he won't be able to attend other conventions like Worldcon because uh, the Pre PenguinCon already did their due diligence and found that he was a toxic person to have in their convention that made other guests feel uncomfortable. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Um, I would love to know, I, I wish she had elaborated more about how they interacted and how the topic came up of like talk like stalker childs and um why she didn't believe him i would love to know what he was saying that she's like that doesn't make sense does he mean to tell me that a group of neo-nazi homophobic racist terrorist stalkers for whatever reason for no reason found you seven billion people on this planet they found you in particular and said, let's ruin this guy's life. I don't believe that. There's more to this story. To which he replied, no, you wicked, moronic, mouth-breathing, evil imbecile. You do not understand, and you will never understand. I've made it perfectly clear to you many thousands of times that these are arbitrary, homophobic, racist attacks against an esteemed author for no reason other than the perverse, dark triad, sick, twisted, psychopathic joy that they frolic in, uh, seeing the suffering and agony of innocent people. 
And then she's like, that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> sounds like you're full of shit. You got any evidence? You got any evidence for that claim, Mr. Tomlinson? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a practical woman. I like to see concrete evidence for, for claims. And he's like, no, you will not receive any evidence. You've already been instructed many thousands of times to stop asking for evidence. <laughs> Um, I am feeling myself right now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so that's the, the, the Tomlinson update. Oh, of course, the most important thing that I was going to mention, I've completely lost just reading her message. Patrick says, this is how you get sued into poverty, Leslie. You are mentally ill. Seek help. So this art, this woman says, this guy is crazy. He's obsessive. He fucking goes on about all this bullshit that I don't care about and that there's no evidence for he is apparently uh, uh, quietly homophobic. He says things that are homophobic and, and quiet. Um, and I think he's a misogynist. He hates women. And uh, I don't feel comfortable around him. And then Penguin Con says, okay, you know what? He kind of sucks. You're right. And then Patrick says, this is how you get sued into poverty. So now she can just point to this and say, look, I said that he made me uncomfortable. And then his reaction was, uh, let's, you know, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I came across aggressive. You know, I'm just frustrated because of these problems that are going on. I don't know how to handle. He says, I'll fucking sue you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> enjoy the gutter. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy busking for change, stalker. <laughs> Doesn't really help his case. Kind of makes him look like a deranged asshole. Uh, maybe Worldcon 2025 won't take pity on him after seeing this message. I think someone even asked him. There was a follow-up message. Oh, Penguin Khan responded saying, Hi there, I'm so sorry to hear about your experience. As our dealing with Tomlinson have escalated to the board level, I have forwarded this request to them, and hopefully they can respond better than I can. Also, this will share your original email back to you, as you requested in your other email. Let me know if there's anything specific I can help with, but I'm leaving this in the hands of the board at this point. Um, so he just said, look, I can't deal with this shit. I'm going to escalate this to management. Uh, there was some speculation. I don't know if it'll be in the next immediate post. I don't think it is. Uh, but just to clarify that... The, um, this is just so petty. No, stalker, I don't. No, stalker, I have lied about nothing at all. Your bomb threats were very real. The FBI knows they were. No, stalker, we didn't pay anyone to swat us. You did. The FBI knows that, too. Enjoy prison. And, uh, there's another post. I don't know if I be able to find it but i will paraphrase it someone asked him if he intended to um get the science fiction writers association which is the group of people that paid for his last uh lawsuit against quasi and which lost and apparently paid even more money uh, to quasi to to help with the debt that Tomlinson had incurred after losing. Uh, they asked if the uh, Science Fiction Writers Association would also pay for his lawsuit against Leslie, and he implied by text message uh, in response to the stalker child that, yes, they would. So apparently, the Science Fiction Writers Guild is, like, insane and 100% backs Tomlinson and all of his stupid-ass fucking esca uh, escapades. And I have no idea what their motivation is. Um, the 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 guild that is financing his lawsuits is like vilified by the pest, and they um, have go written in detail about how uh, supposedly a lot of their members are pedophiles or have been convicted of like sex offenses and stuff. Um, I don't know enough about that to to comment in detail, but that's what's thrown around, and it could be thrown around as spite, but it could be like a true thing. I can't say. Um, but that's the the that's the Tomlinson stuff. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.